See the lake. We ain't seen the lake so far. I know. Where is the lake? It's a big lake, Lake Michigan. Welcome to back to the One Million Mile Road Trip. I'm Tommy. And I'm Medina. And we just left Napanee, uh, uh, Indiana, where we had solar, got solar and batteries in our new in our RV, not our new RV. And we are staying at another Harvest Host in, near South Haven, Michigan. And this is called Bumbleberries Farm. Farms. We have all kinds of blueberries and they have a you pick it I'm gonna let Dina do this while I take okay. some pictures um, they have a you pick it here where you go and you uh, pick your own or uh, I'm not sure how they do it really haven't been up to office yet but uh, they do look like they are in bloom and they are ready to be picked. Uh, just all kinds of blueberry bushes as far as you can see. I'd probably say 20 acres or better. And uh, But I saw some people earlier out here with, uh, with uh, buckets. In fact, there's some coming now with buckets. Okay, so I think they have a petting zoo and a playground, and it looks like they've got a tractor that pulls a little choo-choo train. I see some hammocks. I may, I may get me a hammock. <laughs> I think I'd like to lay down on a hammock right now. I want a nap. It's not real hot out here. Look at this. I mean, they have just got miles. Well, not miles, but they've got row after row of blueberries and they've got them named. 
cute little thing here, this little train. So if you have kids and you want to uh, bring them. Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, Captain America. Look at that. Whoops, I hope I'm getting this. Yeah, I am. These are my favorite plants. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So we are in the blueberry, no, bubbleberry um, store, and they have moonshine jelly, and you can get a sample. Look at this, strawberry jalapeno, blackberry. Okay, so you know, I tried one of them. Kickles. And their prices are really good yeah. and their blueberries are coming in now so look at this Okay, we'd like to talk to you a little bit about the uh, Harvest Host Bumbleberry. Our dog is wanting all the attention. Uh, it was a great Harvest Host, super nice people, very knowledgeable. They had over 70, uh, six acres, 78 acres of, of uh, blueberries and all different varieties. And they were ripe. And they were ripe. And you, they had a you pick it, or they would. They had it for sale in their gift shop and their like farmers market thing. I, I think you went through there. I've got some. We got pictures of you going through there, and um, they're just super nice folks. They write your name on a little tablet thing and put it out there for you when you uh, when you arrive. They. Uh, they put it out there on a chalkboard type tablet to tell you where to turn in and also uh, where your spot is when you arrive. And we camped in the back of the farm uh, about 100 yards away from the office. And uh, there was a couple of, I think there's one other RV there when we were there. And uh, it was just, it was cool. It was a uh, breeze blowing through the windows. It was very, very nice. We enjoyed our stay. And we would highly recommend you going to Bumbleberry Farms. And also South Haven was the little town located on the uh, banks of the Lake Michigan that was down the road. And it was just awesome little town. I really, really liked that town. A lot of, uh, lot of people just sitting around on the banks of the harbor there enjoying the sunshine. It was, it was great. It was. I would like to go back to the ice cream store that we did not get to visit. 
because the line was wrapped around the building every time we went by. It didn't matter what time of the day or night, and the girls told us at the Bumbleberry Farms that we needed to go there, and we tried. We tried. But, but we didn't make it. Didn't make it. Um, but the little town, um, and we say little, it wasn't little. I mean, they. No, it, they was, had... it was a nice beach town. Um, it was really... Um, it was really quaint, and, and I liked it a lot. There was a place that I wanted to try to eat at, and we didn't make it there either. Maybe somebody can comment that they've eaten there. It was at um, Homemade by Sisters or Six Sisters or something like that. It was just a hole in the wall, it looked like. But um, one of the places that we ate, um, the people were having trouble getting uh, workers, and so they were only at half uh, occupancy. And the uh, Mar Mariner Museum also was closed the day we were there. I think it was actually on a Sunday we were there uh, that we came in, so that was kind of a uh, bummer. But we we'd like to I'd like to visit that town again. Yeah. I really would. Maybe stay a few days and really explore it. It was just a really nice town. So we'll catch you next time. Well, it was our first place to stay since we got our solar so we were trying right, out our solar right. and the girls invited us to stay an extra night they said hey y'all don't have to leave you know just because you know it was one night you can stay again but somebody was in a hurry I wanted to get down the road I wanted to stay that wasn't exactly right we we had a, we have reservations I had to go to okay I couldn't just drop those reservations so okay. I already made some at a other harvest hose so that's what it was if you go by there and they have the blueberries still get you some blueberries and then make you a blueberry cobbler I hope that you'll see my blueberry cobbler I call it the bumbleberry cobbler maybe uh, in future future one will will show that Okay, okay. well, our dog hey, apparently photobombed us. Photobomb, that's right. Maggie, so, did you photobomb us? So anyway, catch you in the next video. I hope you uh, mash that little subscribe button and mash the little bell. And uh, you'll get all our upcoming videos. We've got a lot of stuff to share with you on our trip through Michigan. Yes. Michigan, all the way up through Mackinac Island so and beyond. So, and the UP. And the UP. Oh. All right, have a good night. Bye, y'all.